in your travels. Which city was the biggest letdown? Belfast kinda stunk. The Titanic Museum was cool, but what soured us I think the most was getting in late off the plane from Scotland to head to our airbin. When we arrived, no key. I messaged the hoster that uni is under construction we had a flirt earlier today. It's okay that you can go to this address. Proceeds to set us up in his bedroom which he doesn't use because he has a bad back and has to sleep in a recliner. Knew it was a farce, but what else do you do at 9pm in a foreign country law? Venice, Italy in the summer. I had been there in February and it was an amazing time. Summer though, I don't know what was happening but there were loads of fish dying in all the channels and the place reeked wherever we went. My wife tried the water taxi and she would have probably been okay, but with the dead fish smell mixed with the waves, she got incredibly seasick for a while. It just turned into a crappy time for the few days we were there. More of a general area than one specific town, although I'd say FT, Myers. Tampa, Naples, etc., but Southwest Florida. I vacationed there recently while visiting my in laws, and I was homesick the entire time. I've traveled a lot across many states and never had that happen before. The ocean and beaches were beautiful. The food was great. But the people, the traffic, the mannerisms, hard pass on me returning anytime soon. Rome was such a massive letdown after Florence and Venice. I still think some of the sites are incredible, but the city was a lot dirtier than I expected and public transportation really let me down. Rome was the first European city where I genuinely didn't feel safe at night. Edit to add to my experience. A friend was also sexually assaulted in Rome, and the police response was so, so hurtful and disappointing. Amsterdam. I think a big part was that I was just expecting too much so I can't totally blame the city, but the dirtiness and rudeness of some of the people we met there ruined the experience. Also, seeing a homeless guy masturbating into a cup on a bridge in the red light district the first night we were there didn't help much. We ended up leaving a couple days early, headed to Brussels and had a blast. Portland people experiencing homelessness and super high on opiates everywhere young people. I live in another large urban area and felt unsafe walking downtown. It totally bummed me out. It's also the a wide gentrified and a pretty segregated city racially. Totally blew me away. I was expecting something more along the lines of diverse and woke and definitely safer. Basto. I saw it on the map remembered it from the song Route 66, and decided that was where we would stop for the night. I was kind of excited about staying there. Oof. What an awful place it was ugly. There was just dirt and dust everywhere. No place to eat. No place to hang out. Everybody looked so depressed and worn down. It is definitely not a place to stop. Austin, for all the shit Texans talk about Collie. At least our homeless people aren't harassing you. Awful, awful place. Bars where the guys outside were harassing the women in our group to go inside. Food is absolute trash, especially their Mexican food. I can see why Texans are always so mad at Californians. I'd be miserable if I lived there too. La. Based on Reddit and the local conservative outrage here in Arkansas, I was expecting a war zone. What I actually got was a city much cleaner and nicer than anything we have in the South. I was never accosted by a homeless person and didn't step on any syringes. 010. We'll be going back frequently until my sister decides to move. Athens arrived on a metro strike. Day before I left there was a taxi strike. Day I left there was a bus strike. This was the middle of the summer 2018. All tours I booked were cancelled. The majority of the stores were second-hand places. When the best store in your main street is MS is away. However, loved the food. Pueblo, Colorado. That place sucks. X to OOB. Edit in case. As any new comments asking what I was expecting. I had high expectations. Because I had family that moved there who put that place on a pedestal and I was bored out of my mind there on top of everything remotely decent being a 20-minute drive away. Daytona Beach, Florida. I was so excited to go to Florida in high school. Cockroach in the hotel room. Biohazard bag in the water. 
all scummy touristy stuff. No thanks. Saved up all that money to go working at the school store just to be disappointed. Went to Tybee, Georgia a year ago. And that place was fantastic. Naples, Rome had a reputation for being messy and smelly for decades, which I saw firsthand. Dave Sins cleaned it up, and it's as beautiful as you'd hope. Naples, on the other hand, feels like a slum for the most part. It's messy, unwelcoming, and doesn't honor its history the way much of Italy does. Mount Rushmore. Basically all of the things that people are saying in high art comments about Niagara Falls except the attraction is for dudes carved on a mountain and it's expensive if you want to see it up close. Photograph it from the road and continue on with your road trip to more interesting places. I haven't traveled a lot, but Las Vegas would be mine. Don't get me wrong. It's known for what it is known for for a reason, but the whole place smelled of piss and cigarettes. The activities events we did while there were enjoyable, but not a place I could stay for more than a couple days at a time. I'll do the absolutely blown away by New York and Boston. I'm from the suburbs of Chicago, and at the time was living in the city, and NYC was overwhelming, but in a good way. Absolutely loved it. Boston just felt so intimate and maybe it's touristy, but loved the Freedom Trail. I was born in Detroit. I traveled to Flint once. Trash can fires on the street corners. Crackheads in frayed stocking caps begging change in the gutter. Hookers going up and down the row of cars at the red light like the fucking charity guys. Can't think of a lot of reasons to go back. Dublin. Honestly loved its nightlife, but it was incredibly dirty and had very little to do other than the brewery tours. Extortionate prices for anything too. Airport was especially disgusting. Was really excited to go and yeah just felt let down a lot by what we found. I feel like I've answered this question every night for the past week or so, but Copenhagen was pretty boring. Never planned to go there but a group holiday took us there and, well, other than a well-stocked art gallery, it has nothing going for it. I keep seeing LA, San Francisco and Portland are on here. I have lived worked in all three cities and found them interesting amazing. So I'm kind of shocked to see all the hate. But I grew up in the Midwest. So maybe I'm easily impressed. St. Augustine, Florida. Once you get away from the historic stuff that's all in one section of town. And the beach. It's just another town. With all the same shit that's in your town. Dito St. Simons Island, Georgia. Rome. It was just hot and full of people and tourist guns. I don't even know how many times my friends and I were approached by people. I love Italy. I'd gladly go back there again. But I think I'd give Rome a miss. Salem. Mass. To be honest, I was looking for the Betty Midler Hocus Pocus version, and instead I got 85 shops selling. Overpriced rocks with special powers. I'm probably not their target audience in hindsight. Dallas area underwhelmed me. The first BBQ place I went to was very mediocre. The best thing I ate was the bread. Granted I spent most of my time in Arlington, I still thought the area was very unexciting. London, I suppose. Although to be honest I never really got a chance to see the suburbs except through the window of the train going to and from Heathrow. So, maybe it has charms I failed to recognize. I haven't traveled a lot. But I went to Providence three once and felt it was truly boring. Boring architecture and not much to do or see. After a few hours, we got back in the car and went on to Boston. Vegas. Went once said I never would go back. I went back a second time and realized that I should have listened to my gut following my first experience. Also Denver sucks until you get out of the city. It was never a destination for me. But I've passed through many times Jacksonville just comes across as a pretty depressing place. I know there are nice people there but the city needs some work. Los Angeles, Hollywood. I like visiting California but if I'm never in that city it will be too soon. I was excited to get to walk Hollywood BLVD and see the sidewalk stars. Lol the people saying London or New York. Sounds like you just didn't know what to do while there and opted to not go outside the notoriously touristy parts. Dallas. Texas. I cannot believe how boring that city is. I've had much more fun in every other Texas city I've visited Austin.
San Antonio, even Fort Worth, Panama City, shitty weather, shitty beaches, shitty aquarium. It's where white trash with a little bit of cash congregates. Edit the one in Florida, Posey, Idaho. Not that I had any real expectations, but I definitely didn't expect almost getting ran over and having a stuffed animal thrown at me. Istanbul, smells like piss. Uptight security staff, beggars everywhere. Even the kebabs were let kebabs in Sydney and London are better. Milan, biggest surprise. The island of Sardinia and Malta. I would love to go back once I'm done exploring other destinations I had in mind. Asheville, NC. The outskirts are charming, but the city itself is depending on the season either loud and crowded or cold and underwhelming. Greensboro, NC. I found that the city did not have any character or unique places, just a sea of strip malls and chain restaurants. Las Vegas. I was told the food is cheap. Drinks are free if you're gambling and the slots are loose. Bullshit. Bullshit and bullshit. None of them. They've all been more than I could have hoped for, except the city I actually live in, which is a huge letdown. Charleston, West Virginia, it was May. Just not much there to see and do. The drive through West Virginia was beautiful. Atlanta. A friend told me it was so cool, but other than the Coke Museum, I wasn't impressed and ended up leaving early. Dublin. Not that it was bad. But there were a bunch of hood rat looking kids everywhere. I much preferred Cork and Galway. 